Hey, thought I'd check in with you guys. It's been a while, actually, uh, since I've been on here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, um, yeah, I've just... This last video, the one that came out today, I thought I would talk about it a little bit, um, and that kind of helps to explain why I haven't been on here much lately. Um, there are some topics that I cover that just break my brain, and, and this was one of them. Um, I, I, I hesitate to start writing on something until I feel like I really have some kind of grasp on it. And, um... I knew my email was about to pop up. Um, I only get emails when I'm recording because that's when the computer wants to make noise. Um, no, so so it was so these videos come out on Monday. It was uh, it was Friday night into Saturday morning. I was up till four in the morning writing this script because it was maybe ten o'clock on Friday night before I finally felt like, oh, I think I know how to how to talk about this. Um, and by the way, I'd spent, I spent all day Friday working on it. Um, I was at the coffee shop for like five hours, just, just reading as much as I could and watching different videos and trying, trying to get a handle on this. And I still don't think I fully got it right, which is why I, I pulled the whole fact checker, uh, jokey skit thing. Um, and in case you haven't noticed, whenever I do a video and I feel like I don't fully understand it, like I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm getting something wrong here. Um, I try to amp up the comedy as much as possible, just to sort of, uh, just, just to sort of bring some levity to it and make people understand I don't really take myself too seriously here. But here's the thing, and I talk about this a little bit in the video, uh, but it's, it's very real. As, as the channel has grown, and it's, it's at, we're at 374 right now, the last time I looked, I think I hit that this morning, um, 374,000. It's 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 weird. It's like it, as the channel grows, like reality changes a little bit, um, and I do feel a lot more responsibility to get the facts right. I used to not. I mean, it was always just sort of like a comedy channel, and and uh, if I got something wrong, who cares? You know, it's a comedy channel. I didn't have a big audience anyway. Whatever. Well, now I've got a pretty big audience, and this video is actually doing pretty well this morning so far. Um, but I feel a lot more pressure to get the facts right. Uh, but I also feel a lot of pressure to get the videos out every week, especially now that they're sponsored and I'm kind of obligated to get the videos out. So that's why, as I said in the, in the beginning of the video today, I haven't really talked about like quantum, deep, theoretical physics type stuff because I don't trust myself. I don't trust my own, um, my own knowledge base on that. And, and, and a lot of times like I'll work it out and it's like, oh, okay, I get it. This makes sense. And I try to explain it in that way, but then it turns out that just because it made sense to me doesn't mean that it uh, is actually accurate, which which is probably the case today. In fact, I think um, the little animation that we did showing how uh, all those little pieces come together with the Rindler horizon and everything, I've had several people point out that the horizon is actually behind the object, not in front of the object, so a little bit of a, a <clears throat> correction there. Um, and again, I'm I'm super annoyed that that YouTube took away notifications. I'm sorry, not notifications, annotations, because um, I could very easily, when there were annotations, just get on there right now and be like, "Oops, I got this wrong." Um, you know, it's actually this, and and it's I can be more accurate. I can I can correct myself. I can't correct myself now. I have to do something like this, and and talk about it here. Um. Another thing that has gotten to be kind of unusual, uh, surreal, about the channel being where it is, is that um, if I talk about someone, there's actually a good chance that person will see it. <laughs> there's actually a good chance that person will find out. And to that end, actually, just before I, I started recording this, I got a tweet from, from Mike McCullough, who is the guy who came up with quantum iner or quantized inertia. Uh, and... And here's the thing, and this is me being a little bit hard on myself. Um, if I have the reach to where somebody that, um, like, like Mike McCullough, who actually created this idea, if I have the reach that that person would actually see the videos that I put out, I also have the, for lack of a better word, clout to actually talk to that person. So 
I'm kind of mad at myself. Like I probably could have reached out to him and said, hey, I want to do a video on this subject, but I don't fully understand it. Could, could we talk for a minute? And he probably would have been happy to, uh, to talk to me. He, he said nice things about the video, by the way, so that's, that's, that's a good thing. Um, but that's something I really, this is me just sort of confessing here, like this is something I'm beating myself up about. I really need to start doing stuff like that. But that requires me getting ahead on these videos. And this particular video, I mean, we finished editing it last night at like, what, one in the morning, two in the morning? So, uh, it, it's something I've got to get a handle on. I've got to get ahead on these videos, not just for my own sanity, but also for the accuracy of the videos. I think the longer uh, I have time to, to fact check these things, and I have Patreon supporters that have been very vocal and saying, let's, let's help you write these scripts. Let's help you fact check these scripts. It's hard to do that when it's, when I literally have like, two days between the ending of writing the script and the beginning of, of shooting it. Um, it's very important to me that I stick to my weekly schedule um, because I honestly, I feel like that is the single most uh, critical thing that I have done that has helped my channel grow. And I keep saying that over and over again. If you, if you are out there and you want to start a YouTube channel and you came to me for advice, my very first thing would be be consistent and post on a regular basis because that's exactly what I did and that's what's helped me. Um, so, you know, people like Tim, who of course I respect the hell out of, um, he kind of posts when he posts. He doesn't really post on any, any regular basis that I can tell anyway. But he has this whole process with his uh, Patreon people on Discord and they all kind of like uh, review his, his scripts and he makes sure that all of his... Uh, facts are accurate and everything. I just need to find a way to get ahead so that I can have time on those topics that I don't fully understand to do that. So, uh, one other thing I wanted to cover just talking about, uh, the whole quantized inertia thing and th this idea of fringe theories. There's, there were a couple of people in the comments that seemed to already, um, take issue with the fact that I use the word pseudoscience and maybe fringe theory is along the same line as, as pseudoscience. Um, just to put it out there, the only reason I used the word pseudoscience was because that word kept popping up in a lot of the articles that I read about this subject. Um, it kept being referred to as pseudoscience, so I kind of used that word in the video. It wasn't meant to be, um, uh, you know, it wasn't meant to be critical, it wasn't meant to be mean, it was just, you know, that's the kind of term that people are using about it. And, and I think everything is pseudoscience until it's proven to be real science. And obviously there are people that are researching this. DARPA put 1.3 million into researching this, this, uh, this field. So we'll see, you know, um, but there's, okay. <laughs> there's a subject that has been, people have been asking me to cover forever. And I don't know if I've talked about it here before or not, but, um, I'm just being completely honest, I kind of refuse to do it, and that subject is the electric universe theory. And the reason why I'm so not wanting to talk about it is because uh, for some reason, and I find this interesting, um, there are some topics that people, you know, when you talk about fringe science, fringe theories, there are some ideas that people are like, okay, that's interesting, but... Um, they don't take it too seriously. Or they might say, hey, this is great. I really want to see more research into this. I really want people to talk about this. And that's cool. And then there are some fringe theories that are not accepted by the mainstream scientific community that the people who get behind it for some reason go immediately to conspiracy territory. Um, and that's, I'm sorry, but that's what Electric Universe has, has become. When I, I, I looked into it, I, you know, people, I got a whole lot of people recommending I, I cover it. I couldn't help but notice that some of the people that recommended I cover it recommended it over and over and over and over and over again obsessively, which is a huge red flag. Um, but when I looked into it, I started reading articles. I started going to websites and, and looking at it. And, and immediately I noticed this huge conspiracy theory element to it where um, it wasn't enough that people said, hey, 
this is this idea and the scientific community isn't really behind it, it went immediately to, this is being covered up. There's a conspiracy amongst the wider scientific community to keep the truth from people and stuff like that. Like, it was pervasive on this subject. And I was like, I'm not touching that. Because uh, I'm just not a conspiracy guy, as I talked about in my UFO video last week. And um, I don't know what it is about certain theories that make people go there. Like, I covered one electron universe theory, which was a Richard Feynman thing, and it's just as fringe as, as elect, electric universe or anything else. It's, I mean, it, there, there's, it, it's, it's still on the edges of science, but there's nobody out there saying, this is the truth, and they're trying to keep it from you, and they're, and, you know, make it all conspiratorial. I didn't see any of that on the quantized inertia thing either. There's a lot of people who are who are fans of it and say this explains a lot of things and we need to research it. Um, but I didn't see a lot of that on the Electric Universe. What I'm seeing on Electric Universe is a lot of this is the truth and it's being suppressed and I have no interest in that. I'm not, I'm not going to promote something that for some reason people have elevated to this level of uh, whatever you want to call it. So... Um, if you're watching this and you are wondering why I've never covered Electric University, that's why. I just, it, it turns me off. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but anyway, just thought I would kind of follow up on today's video and give a little background on all that. Uh, I'm trying really hard to get into some, some better routines and habits. Um, it gets really frustrating to me when, uh, when I'm really trying to get ahead on things and I just feel like, I just wind up right back in that point when it's Sunday night and I'm still working on a video. It's like, I, I, I always say I'm never going to do this again, and I wind up doing it again. But um, anyway, I'm working on it. So to that end, I should probably get back to work. Uh, so this is the TMI channel. If you're new here, this is kind of what I do. I just kind of talk off the topics, off the top of my head. Top, yeah, I just kind of freestyle talk here. And uh, I don't edit. I don't, I don't script. I just come out and talk. And some people like it. I don't know. Weirdos. Um, but anyway, this is not the regular Answers with Joe channel. I always have to put that on here because there's a lot of confusion. But uh, it's Monday. I hope you guys have a great week. And um, with any luck, I will see you again on this channel before the end of time. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Hope you guys are doing well. Take care.